Oh my, you're making me cry, darling. Maybe it's better if we move before I get all teary. Here, darling, take my cloak. You need it more than me. Come, let's go. I'll take you to my home in the ruins. There we will find suitable clothes for you. The ruins are a place full of puzzles and traps. But don't worry. In time, you get used to it, and you will memorize all the solutions. You will like it, you'll see. And then I could teach you how to cook, and... Toriel, right? Yes, darling? Thank you for everything. Huh? <laughs> no problem. And that was how I met Toriel. I felt like I could trust her. Her gaze was so kind, so I let her lead me into the ruins. Here we are. Toriel led me inside the ruins. It was a magical place, full of traps and snares. And the monsters that lived there glanced at me, but with Toriel on my side, I felt safe. Looked like the monsters were afraid of her, and that's how I first met Nabstablook. Ahem. Good morning, Nabstablook. This young lady and I need to pass through. We will be infinitely grateful if you let us, please. Oh, oh. forgive me. Your Highness, I, I didn't mean to be a burden. Oh no, you are not a burden, Napstablook. This young lady and I would just like to pass through. Then you can lay down as much as you want. Really? You're, you're not just saying that just to make me feel better, are you? Not at all. Well, we are just in such a rush. The young lady is in urgent need of clothes. Aren't you? Mm hmm? Mm hmm? Mm hmm? Well, in that case, I won't make you wait any longer. Thank you. I'll see you around. Take it easy. And so we arrived. It was at that moment that I realized my life would change for the better. But obviously, I had no idea of what would happen next. Welcome to your new home, darling. Take a pew, darling. Don't be shy. This is your home now. It's very beautiful, Toriel. Oh my, I've forgotten that you're without clothes. Come in my room, darling. Let's see if there is something to dress you. Let's see, maybe this one? No, maybe... no. Too old, too small. Oh no, too hot. Toriel, any shred is alright. Ah, here. This is perfect. Not much imagination. I see you really like my pie. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So, you told me that you don't remember your name, right? To be honest, I don't remember anything. Don't worry. At any rate, we can do something about your name problem. Well, there must be a book of names in the library. Why don't you choose one for yourself? Yes, exactly. That one. If you need something, I'm in the kitchen. Five minutes later. Toriel, I've, I've chosen. Already? Oh, well, let's hear it. Lionel. What? My name is Lionel. Nice to meet you, Lionel. <laughs> Toriel made me a CV for my education, but with regret, I discovered I don't have an aptitude for studying, especially math. By the way, I nurtured up a passion for cooking, and I found myself getting a talent for drawing that I loved so much. I used to spend hours and hours drawing, exploring the ruins. I familiarized myself with it and I learned all the puzzle solutions and I met new friends. Moreover, Toriel told me that every monster had magical power for defense or simply for moving objects. So I started to learn and develop mine. Everything was just so wonderful and delightful. No problems, no worries. Then, one day... Hmm... The flowers are so beautiful! You know, Kara? It might be easier to see the flowers if your hair was out of your eyes. My child, if you wanted to read, all you needed to do was ask. Although it may be easier to see with your hair away from your eyes. Hmm? Huh? Now, I'm not mad. It was an accident. But maybe you should get your hair out of your eyes. 
It might be easier for you to see where you're going. Small one. Uh, do you think you could cut my bangs? Of course, child. I will be happy to. It's okay. Thanks anyway. Oh, uh, thank you. All right then. Just a couple of snips here and a brush of the locks that way, and done. Mm. Such scary eyes. The eyes of a demon. Disgusting! A disgrace! Worthless! No one would ever love eyes like that. Repent for your birth, demon. Don't you ever look at me in the eyes, you creepy thing. Looks like your blood is as red as your eyes, huh? Despite those freaky things, you're still just a weak little demon. Oh, Kara, my child, it's good to see your face for once. Thank you for allowing me to cut your hair, Kara. Your eyes look lovely. <laughs> Kara, you got your hair cut. You look so nice. It's me. <laughs> All right, here's a school. See you later, punk. Have a good day, kiddo. Don't forget your lunch. I worked very hard on it. Knock him dead, darling. Oh, Pappy dear. Yes, my shining star! Do you like my new swimsuit, darling? I picked it out just for you. Jerry's? John, why? Something tells me I don't want another answer to this. But what's wrong with cherries, Papyrus? Yeah, honey bunny, what's wrong? I thought you loved cherries. M Metaton, please! Not in front of Undyne! Oh, I'm sorry, darling. I was only teasing. Do you want me to take the suit off? Metaton! Ugh, please don't. Jeez, I wish Alphys would hurry up with that nice cream. <sighs> it seems you won't give up, kid. Okay, you leave me no choice. I'll have to use my special attack. <laughs> the Slipper of Death. Oops, my hand slipped. Kodo mo akireme nai you desu. Okay, anata wa watashi ni sentaku no yochi o nokoshimasu. Watashi ga. しようするフィッツ Feeling heavy today. Huh? Oh, come on. You gotta be kidding me. Now, young man, you cannot leave that box until your timeout is over. Sans, no! <laughs> um, but he didn't leave. The box. <laughs> yeah, we're just hanging around. Yeah. Get your ass down. Uh, I'm gonna call you back. 
Oh man, those enemies at Alpha's are showing me sure are weird, but kind of entertaining. Welcome home, brother. Oh, second only chan Ah, the guy. Back in the court.